Good morning guys. Welcome to a new week in the studio. Today I have a few things on my to-do list. Uh, it's Monday so I've got orders to pack from over the weekend. I also have, I need to make some new stickers for packages um, because I'm probably going to run out of them very very soon. Uh, and I had an epiphany which I will tell you about later when we get onto stickers. I, I'm going to slightly change something in the way of how I make my stickers which will hopefully result in less error and less waste of stickers. Uh, so yeah, I'm happy about that. I have my expenses to do. When I say to do my expenses, I mean like I have a spreadsheet where I fill it all in. I haven't done January's yet and we're now on the 1st of March. So I have January and February expenses to get up to date. Fun. <laughs> and yeah, I'll show you, give you a quick show through my bullet journal as well because I was sat down last night on Sunday evening. Uh, we were watching Night Stalker on Netflix, which is about Richard Ramirez. And yeah, all, you know, joyful Sunday evening watch. Um, I sat and did my bullet journal for March whilst watching that. Uh, it was enjoyable. <laughs> as enjoyable as anything about a serial killer can be. Um, yeah, very interesting. I thought I knew about the Richard Ramirez case, but I didn't. Um, yeah, and I also, I, the bit I find really interesting is um, like the police investigation side of things and basically when they mess up. <laughs> um, yeah, there are several errors made by the police when trying to catch Richard Ramirez which I didn't know about um, and yeah in the end he was caught by the public yeah very interesting one quite different to other serial killer documentaries that we've watched uh, we like watching true crime documentaries we know quite a lot of the I don't want to say popular what is the word notorious. famous notorious that's a good word under it <laughs> but a lot of the not notorious I can't say a lot of the notorious serial killers not popular although apparently he was which is weird very weird anyway just show you through my bullet journal very quickly and then i think we will get on to packing some orders this is my bullet journal for match um, I've drawn out my order tracker. I just need to add the lines in here, uh, which I didn't do yesterday because I was sat in bed doing this. Um, my March monthly, uh, and I've added eat well tracker on this one because I want to eat better this month, and that was one of my New Year's goals to get eat healthier, and I haven't been doing that, so <laughs> I'm gonna track that this month and yes then i just filled out the stamping for the next four weeks in match and that's really all i did but uh it did take me a long time although i don't know i just find it really therapeutic and enjoyable just like creating spreads doing my stamping i don't know i just really enjoy the stamping side of things you know it, it takes me like forever but I think it looks really cute afterwards and it's very therapeutic. So yeah, um, I might add some washi tape and some more decor to this spread. Um, I was just trying to get like the base down um, so that I can at least do my to-do lists if I need to. I also would like to do some sort of to-do list for like household chores and stuff, uh, but I'm not really sure where I'm gonna fit that in yet. Um, because then I lose my journaling space, but we'll see.
Good morning guys. It is Thursday today. Uh, I didn't finish vlogging on Monday. On Tuesday I received new stock from one of my suppliers. Uh, I will show you that in just a moment. I updated some of the listings. Um, there's some new listings for some new items that I still need to add. I still need to make the stickers. Ideally I haven't done business cards since Christmas. So I think it would be good to do some more business cards. Actually, I've just remembered why I haven't done business cards. I don't have any card. <laughs> uh, never mind, scratch that. So yeah, today I think um, I've got another couple of orders to pack, but I, I'm not gonna film those because obviously I did order pack on Monday and that'll be in this video already. So I will make the stickers today and add the rest of the listings for the shop. And I'll show you this stock. Okay guys, let me just show you some of the new stock we've got in. Uh, I have topped up on the Jelly Roll Whites set. It's not gonna focus. Uh, and also uh, these Jelly Rolls, these are the Urban set. and um, These are really good on black paper as well as the white. And then we've got the Galaxy set, the Calm, the Nature. And then these two are new to the store. So these are part of the fluorescent jelly roll sets. I have the big packet of these, like the full set. Um, but I thought it would be nice to get a couple of the smaller sets as well. Um, again, great on black paper. These are new. These are uh, Secure is celebrating 100 years. Uh, so they've done this special edition set with the Pigma Microns where it's black and gold um, and this is a set of three fine liners and it's the most popular sizes which is one, three and five. Again new to the store um, we've gone for the Brunzeal coloured pencils which come in a nice little tin and um, we've got those in a 12 and a 24 set and also we've picked up graphite pencils um, just because I know some people prefer to use pencil rather than pens. Top up on single jelly rolls. Got white, silver, gold. Uh, we've also got copper this time and a sepia colour. And then some sketchbooks. These are really small. <laughs> um, I got little black paper and cream paper sketchbooks. They're so small, look how small. Um, so there's little square ones. Then we've got, these are kind of like, they're almost A5, but they're like shorter this way. So they're not as wide as an A5, but they're like the same height as an A5. Um, again, that's in the cream. And then we also have, so you've got the portrait and then we've got landscape. And in the landscape, we have the black paper and the cream paper. So that's the new stock.
Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I create my packing stickers. Uh, so as you can see, I have this already set up in Photoshop. This is my sticker sheet template. The writing looks slightly offset because that is the difference between the two printers. So I used to have this set up uh, with the sticker size, as you can see, and then I would have a bleed um, around the stickers. And then recently I had an epiphany and I realised that I could just put a full green background on and that would reduce the chance of having some white paper showing even less. Um, so that's what I'm doing today. So the first thing I'm going to do is print the green background for the stickers. And we're going to print this on my inkjet printer in colour. First I'm printing the colour background on the Canon, which is my colour inkjet printer. Um, so this is all one solid colour. And then I am going to print the mono writing on the top. Um, and I'm going to print that on the laser jet printer. Okay guys, so now I need to put this into the mono printer and print the black writing on. Um, so when I do this, I open up the hatch at the back so that the paper comes straight out the back rather than it curling up the front. So now that I have printed this on the colour background, I'm now going to switch over to my mono print layer. Uh, and this needs to be printed on my laser printer, which uses toner, which is what my file adheres to. So I'll just show you this in print settings. Uh, it's set as plain paper. We've got it on high quality, um, the highest quality that's available under print quality. Um, paper source, you can use manual feed or you can do it through tray one. I have changed the settings to improve toner fixing because that's important for my foiling and I've left the density as normal. So guys, I've decided to put it in the normal paper tray instead of the top tray. Um, I just did a test with some paper to see which way around the paper has to go for it to work. So hopefully this comes out correct. And it has. Perfect. Um, so I am just going to foil this and test it on the Cricut. Okay guys, so here is the foiling, it's come out really nicely, uh, there's just a couple of spots, there's one here, tiny bit here, and there's like a tiny bit up here, but other than that, the rest are perfect, this foil is beautiful. Okay, so the next step is to run it through the Cricut and hopefully everything lines up and we'll have some nice stickers.
when I load my sticker mat into the Cricut, I always have a look at this bit down here. Um, there's one of these either side and I check that the mat is level where those are um, and that just reduces the chance of anything being kind of tilted when you cut your stickers. So guys, you have seen me print the colour layer on the inkjet printer and then the black layer on the laser printer. Uh, we then foiled the stickers and then we have put them on the Cricut for cutting. So let's just get this off of here. Uh, another tip for you guys is when you are removing your sticker sheets, fold the mat rather than the paper and that way you don't end up with a bent sticker sheet. So let's just have a look. So here is the finished sticker. Uh, this one, as you can see, there's still a tiny bit that wasn't covered. If we peel off the rest of the layer that isn't the stickers a it will make it easier for when we want to use the stickers and peel them but we will also be able to see the full stickers and what has been covered by the ink and what hasn't So there you have it guys, a full sheet of coloured foiled stickers. So guys, that is the full sticker sheet and that is how I create my coloured foiled stickers. Uh, so guys, I hope you found that helpful. Uh, I will at some point do an even more detailed tutorial um, so that I can show you exactly how I set everything up in Photoshop and in the Cricut Design software. Uh, and how I get rid of like inaccuracies and tweak things to make the Cricut print things better. Also, as you may have noticed, this is a full page of stickers. Uh, so yeah, at some point I would like to do a tutorial for that. For now, I hope this helped with you learning how to do foil and colour on your stickers. So if you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate if you could give me a big thumbs up and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. I'm going to carry on making my stickers now and I will see you guys next time.